Hello guys, welcome to Arica uh, Alps again, once a time, once upon a time. I was just up there actually, uh, back in September time, doing a nice, what we called the Murray Camp, because we copied Murray's camp. I was just up there, I've forgotten the name of that hill as usual, here it is. Uh, today, it's New Year's Day 2024, as usual I always try to get out and do a hike on New Year's Day. I actually in fact never done a summit camp before. Um, into New Year and I really want to and in fact that was the plan for this year but ended up being that the weather was forecast to be not so good to be honest and then it suddenly changed and by that point I already made plans to be down south so it was too far to travel back up to the Highlands to do one uh, nearly did but thought it would be too much driving so today we're heading up to Ben Dunich oh. Other in my hand so going to Ben Denis, which is up there, it's a Corbett actually I've never done before. It's actually the Corbett that when we were last up that Corbett, we were flashing somebody with head torches on. Eh, uh, hi. You didn't show you. Stuck with these two. Somebody looks, looks like they've got a bun on their head, but it's a pom pom. <laughs> In the meal, I guess. Today we're with Moffat oh. Mountain Adventures, oh. and as usual, the Solo Cemetery. Hey darling. So we're going to go up as a trio and we're going to get up as fast as we get. No, no, we're not. We're going to make it a nice chilled one today. Um, so we'll catch you when we're kind of like a bit further. So see you in a bit. So already it's quite uh, it's quite slippy. Got my last Sportiva B2 boots on. I actually was gonna wear my ice bug spike trail shoes with my gaiters and sealskin socks and well, you know the whole trail running malarkey. But I'm not used to it anymore. And I actually I had them on and they seep through. I think I need new sealskins, so I just decided to swap to last Sportiva boots, which are fine. But again. The last time I stopped, the last time I was popping in, I, was, I wasn't used to them, so I was trying to avoid them just for my Achilles to have more range of motion, but they'll probably be fine. So this is the path up, 870, sorry, 857 metres high, through the forest first. Um, so we'll catch you when we're first through that. Hello. Happy New Year. Happy New Year! Help. <laughs> How amazing is that, guys? Look! Fantastic! Just come from that way. Apparently there's about three false summits on this one. And that's the first one coming up. Hey. Full summit after full summit. Yeah. First snow. 
Oh. Really well enough to see. Come on, pop it this way. Yep. Yeah. 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 No, and me, I always kind of, because I'm used to running, I always, I always go out with a fast pack. And this, this takes as much as what most people would take in a rucksack, this does. It takes my sacks, my mark, my large or my mini crampons, everything I need, you know, my down jacket packs in there, my waterproofs, I usually tend to wear them in winter because they keep me shielded from the cold wind anyway. You know, so in fact, this is a running waterproof jacket, I'll put the name of it here, very good, breathable, and I wear that most of the time with a layer here, you know, and a t-shirt, merino wool t-shirt underneath, that's how I dress when I'm hiking, because I can strip off and be my t-shirt if I want, or I can, you know, it's just much easier, and I always just wear a buff, uh, I usually wear my black cap to keep the snow out my eyes, I've got my ski goggles as well, sometimes I might bring a pair of sunglasses, but yeah, I mean, I've got one and a half litre of water in here too, and a compass. Usually have my charge pack and all that, but because today there's three of us, there's no need for that. So I've just got my phone on its own. So yeah, and I mean, usually when I'm on my own too, I'll carry my mini Garmin GPS. Uh, always, which is good because it, you know, I use these pockets here for stuffing my food in. I don't tend to eat a lot. I only tend to eat about 300 calories when I'm doing a day hike. I just take lots of gels instead because of the hill running, I'm quite used to that. Uh, I used to, back when I was more of a beginner, uh, you know, take my jet boil up to have a cup of tea or carry a bit more weight just for the luxury. But to be honest, these days, I just get on with it. I don't like stopping. I just like going. <laughs> and it's kind of turned into a bit of a fitness uh, addiction. That's why. Uh, but today again, as it says, it's more kind of like a, a leisurely walk. At the moment, I'm just trying to avoid my mini crampons, because it can of be arsed. Uh, put it nicely. Uh, it's not that icy, it's just in some spots. Uh, and again, trekking poles, it's another one. I... I only use them with heavy weight on my back. I don't, for me, for me, because I, I usually don't have any knee issues or anything. I don't see the use of them. I feel like using my own support when I'm walking is much healthier for my ankles uh, than having to rely on trekking poles, even if you use them properly. Just I feel stronger. And um, over time, with by not using trekking poles, I feel like I build more ankle strength, more stability and balance. So, as it says again, I only use them for the wild camps. Um, but yeah, it's funny this because my leg strength's still there, so my feet are still able to go fast, but my respiratory system catches up on me quite fast. So I end up shooting fast like I usually do, and then I have to stop, forgetting that I'm not yet as fit as I was. And you know what? My Achilles, absolutely fine so far. It's quite nice to know that because it means perhaps end of March I can maybe once I've done a couple of more low downhill runs first, maybe, you know, two, three milers, I can potentially try a little run, hike walk, shall we say, not a full on hill walk, run, but just with the trails on, you know. Uh, so yeah, catch you when I get further up. So you know, the boots I've got, La Sportiva B2, which I might mention at the start, they take C2 crampons. Uh, they're not a climbing boot. They're just winter, full on winter boot, you know, proper. I mean, to be honest, I, uh, my Altbergs, which are three season boots, can take C C2 crampons as well. I forgot to mention that in my New Year Christmas video, actually, because I'd shown them there and the one before. They can, they are good enough for going down gullies, snowy gullies. I've, I've used them in quite a lot of harsh winter conditions. Um, so they actually do the job. Uh, so they're similar to these boots, to be honest. 
You wouldn't think that, but gosh, look at that right now. How stunning is that? The cloud just drifting by and the snow in the hills. Oh, I could take this chance to also say why I love hiking so much. And it's really because, why do I do it? Well, it's quite obvious, isn't it? It's an escape from reality, love it. You just have all these views. You meet people, you you know, you chat, like-minded like -minded, like people. Uh, you get the whole day out in a different location with all these stunning views. And sometimes you just feel like you don't want to film, to be honest, today. I didn't really want to film, but I have, because <laughs> it's the first time since uh, March that I've actually got no videos logged in a row. Up till now I had four or five ready to post all the time, but I've actually got none at the minute. So from now on I'll probably be going, posting as I go. <laughs> uh, but that's all right. Um, yeah, so. Just about to say, look at that. Imagine that in winter, proper winter conditions. One leg through, you're stuck. Dangerous. So, got loads to go still, guys. We've only done 1.2 miles. Probably another mile and a half to go. I just heard you talking about steak pie. <coughs> He's talking about steak pie. Not the time to be talking about steak pie, guys. Not the time. Look at that. Wow, that's amazing. Gore-Tex Berghuis waterproof over the boot, over the trouser, waterproof trouser. I use that handle, that, yeah, to sit down. I believe, I think. Here's all over. Here's all over. I've given up with all this protection, honestly. It's just everywhere. 
It's a summit. Bend on it. We've reached the summit from that. Cold. Bend on it, summit, 847 meters high. We're just under the cloud inversion, believe it or not. <laughs> Bad uh, for a bit. David, you're not so keen on that, are you? No. Robert, not really. I mean, I'm the only bagger in this tree of the day, so. I know, I love a cord with Are you, are you a cord bagger? I'm more of a Corbett bagger than I'm a Corbett bagger. I'm a Corbett bagger. Woo! Bentonic! We were freezing before, now I've put this hat on, they're burning. One of us still thinks we're in the Antarctica. <laughs> hey. I'm just going down there. I'm an old person now with shit eyes. <laughs> Check this out. How amazing, guys. Look out for views, eh? We're just under the cloud inversion. Can't believe that. Someone's just over there. Now we're going to make our way back. Are we having a snack? I think so. I want food in my stomach. Uh, David wants to check out over there for pictures, I think. Fancy coming. I mean, we didn't get the view, so now we've got a reason to come back and pitch on it. So yeah. So we're just gonna get out of the cloud and and get some view get a photo taken right now uh, to have a snack and then uh, I'll catch up with you when we stop there because there's nothing interesting to see really you've seen it all guys this is it for today but it's brilliant I absolutely love it lovely to be out on New Year's Day to start off 2024 Opening up now. Look at that. Are we on top of the clouds? No, still not. Way up there. Sometimes it go dark. Uh, <laughs> Three hours. Uh. Aye. Making this look it's so much more challenging than it really is. Oh. Although it looks nothing, if you fell from there, you're going to get hurt yourself. <laughs> There's no two ways about it. Um, I like his, his stuff, he's deep, it's lovely. Um, What's a rock star bit? 
Yeah, so there's a bit of a ridge uh, on this bit. I'm just debating whether to get an ice axe out because if you were to slide, you'd be... That's a bit melodramatic. You don't need an ice axe. No, I agree. I just, I just consider it. I just consider it. But then once we get over, over the rocks, we need to scramble up that bit there, which is a bit of a crux on this route. Aye. Ooh. Ooh. For a second, money short, eh? Let's go for it. It's gone. <laughs> cool, that. Smile. So, I've got a seal skin link here on. It protects me from the breeze. I've got my buff. I've got my Nike hat, I've got my running windproof slash waterproof jacket I was telling you on underneath this with a thermal on underneath that and then I've also got another waterproof Gore-Tex jacket on I don't tend to wear down when I'm hiking that So I'm not sure how much of that you caught but the battery died and I've converted to not using a selfie stick because I want to put it in my pocket so the battery doesn't die because of the cold breeze so I've got you from my hands right now so maybe a bit closer than usual, but that's fine. But what I was saying is I've got a seal skin windproof face shield on right here. Love this, it's really good, keeps me warm, keeps me protected from the wind. I don't wear down jackets that often when I'm doing day hikes. Only when I camp do I wear down. I tend to just layer up with a t-shirt that's merino wooled, a thermal, I have a spare thermal with a sleeved one as well. Then I carry a windproof slash waterproof running trail jacket which is also waterproof and breathable and then I also have a Gore-Tex jacket which I bring and they both are windproof so it shields me and usually keeps me fairly warm I've worn my liner sock, eh, sock eh, my liner gloves today uh, usually I'd wear my waterproof ones but I thought well I don't think I'll be touching snow that much today so I don't get cold that easily so I'm alright, these two have got waterproof so but I just see it's quite easy. Let's give me a wee spin round. Hang on a minute, looks like we're going up again. Uh my bad. <laughs> no need for any mini crampons yet. But uh mini spikes shall we say. But soon we might need them. Getting up there. Oh, there we go, we're going back down again. Oh, for the second time. Here we go! <laughs> okay. I didn't get that far. <laughs> well, that ended perfect. The flurries are starting. Woo! It's snowing all right, isn't it? Yeah, I was thinking that. No, I think we're. Got a bit of sleep, that. Here. <laughs> Take my spikes in the gun. A Brambo Moffat at Liqueur Whiskey, if anyone? Liqueur Whiskey? No, thanks, man. From our, yeah. our own distillery. Ooh. Moffat Distillery. Ooh. I don't, I don't, I can't drink whiskey. I like whiskey, I like the sound of it, but I wish I could drink it, but I can't. Yeah, you're dropping something to go uh, down the hill, it's wrong. Okay, a minute. <laughs> ah! So, having a snack, little time lapse on the go. Robert's got one going. David. I'm busy looking at photos, I think. Aye. Oh, I've got the hiccups. Good days! Here's a little bitty of crappy drone footage because, I mean, anyway, the weather was shizing. So I did take my drone, but here we go, just for the fun of it. Enjoy!
I just realised I forgot to say that it's the Innovate Tune 1 that I use, but there's lots of other fast packs which you can use too uh, for day hikes, and then also you can get larger ones. Uh, and again, you've got the option to put a big bottle in here, or you can use the ones it comes with. You can buy the other ones online, you know, you can just take out and drink. Some people don't like these ones. I quite like them because I just go, job done. Especially with a female, it's annoying having something bobbing about up there all the time for reasons. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, what else? I just constantly had waterproof bottoms on the whole way. My Burg House ones, uh, they're really good. So my second pair now I've gone through. I had other pair have done hundreds of hills, so they've done their time and then I didn't treat them either, but this time I'm treating these ones. Um, and yeah, uh, it's about it for equipment today anyway. Got loads of different things I could go on and on and on. Um, yeah, it's looking good up there. Um, nice quiet hill to choose as well for New Year's Day because it's not a well trodden hill this, so it was just no one. Peace, just a couple of people came up, uh, so that was nice. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. Look at that, man. I'll show you in a minute the views. I just hope you enjoyed that video. And it's a bit different. I mean, there was no camp involved, but it was just again, it was getting out. 2024, New Year's Day. Always make a point to do a camp. Yet to do a well camp on New Year. Last year was too bad, so was the year before. This year could have been possible, but things just didn't plan out that way because it was too far to travel. But yeah, so... I'll see you in the next video guys, yeah. look forward to hearing your feedback, comments, whatever you want um, and good luck for the new year and I hope all your new year's resolutions come into action and play and uh, uh, that, yeah, we close the door and open a new door for the new year, make it a fresh one and I'll see you in the next video, bye! The snow is still very wet, we've not really encountered any ice yet so I haven't put any crampons on but uh, we're still going to have to be careful. Everybody from Arca Alps. Woo!